Hey, what's up, everybody? This is DJ Now, and I'm back with some more Pokemon Silver, and I believe we're going to the champion, right? Strong Pokemon, weak Pokemon. That is only the self-perception of people. <laughs> Truly skilled people should try to win with their favorites and blah, blah blah. Okay, so we already said this. I already read that last time, but I think we're going to the champion now. This is the time. Is it the last, last thing to do in here? Against the Elite Four, let's go against the champion. Hopefully, we'll be able to beat the champion. Have I healed? No, my Pokemon are dead to hell. I don't know if I'm be able to beat the champion because my Pokemon kind of suck ass, but we'll see in a second, I guess. But uh, we made it through the Elite Four. We beat all four of them. The champion is the last test, and we're gonna see if we can pass it in flying colors. Anyway, uh, I'm back. I'm still kind of sick. I feel better than yesterday. Like yesterday, my entire head felt stuffed up, and I feel like complete and utter garbage. My head isn't stuffed up anymore, but I kind of got like a little headache, and my nose is still fucked up. So I will be sniffing. Sniffling and sneezing, but uh, it shouldn't be as bad as yesterday. God, I feel like absolute shit yesterday. I still kind of feel crappy, but I'm not taking no medicine. I'm just gonna tough it out. I don't know why, but I, well, I kind of do know why. I, I'm trying to do some commentaries. I ain't done none in a little bit, and if I take any of the, the medicine I got, it's all drowsy medicine, and the drowsy medicine always makes me fucking well, well, obviously makes me drowsy. I'll be sleepy and shit, which is the weird thing, like. I don't know if any of you guys have taken like drowsy medicine or anything, but it's weird because it's like the drowsy medicine, it, it doesn't like take the pain away like instantly or nothing. It just makes me like real sleepy and I stop giving a fuck and that's kind of weird. Hey, look at this dude. What, what's wrong with your eyes, boy? I've been waiting for you, DJ. Now, I think that your skills, you would eventually reach me here. There's no need for words now. We will battle to determine who is the strongest of the two of us. And the most powerful trainer and the Pokemon League champion, I Lance the Dragon Master, accept your challenge. But anyway, like I was saying, man, when I take them pills, it's like I just stop giving a fuck. Like, I still feel the pain. Does dude think he Batman or something? Oh shit, one of Pokemon got some kind of status effect on him. But anyway, it's like I just I just stop caring. Like, the pain is still there, it's numb, but I just don't give a fuck no more. Uh, I remember one time I took the pills and I went to class. It was uh, one of my college classes, right? And, uh, oh, hmm. Actually, you know I'm gonna switch it. You know I'm punch the fuck out of you with my bitch, and my bitch will be the Pokemon that uh, is paralyzed or something. But anyway, yeah, I took one of the pills before I had to go to college class because I didn't feel like learning with a headache and feeling like garbage. So I went there, took the pill. You know, I was listening to the lecture or whatever. You know, doing whatever on the computer. All of a sudden, the shit kicked in. It just kicked in. I was like, oh god, I feel so sleepy. Then my phone went off, and at the time I had uh, I'm I'm a big comic guy, right? And I believe at the time Scott Pilgrim vs. the World, the movie came out. I was reading the comic book and I was big into it, so I had uh, what I had one of their songs as my ringtone. What song was it? I think it was uh, Threshold, and it starts off where it's like uh, you know, we are sex, but mom, we make you, we're here to make you feel about uh, what is it like uh, think about death and feel uh, sad and stuff and something like that. It went like that. That's how the beginning went. And so it was like my phone went off. It was like full loud and shit. It's loud as fuck, and everybody just like looked at me, just like, "What the fuck kind of ringtone is that? Think about death and feel sad. What?" And I just looked at everybody. I'm just squinting because I'm too tired to open my goddamn eyes. I'm just looking at it. My phone just going off. It's just start, you know, the beginning of the song. And I'm just looking at them. And I'm just like, "What?" And that's all I said. I just looked at them. Everybody looking at me. Teacher's like, "What is that? Oh my god!" And I'm just like, "What?" Because I like normally I'd be like, "Oh shit, gotta turn my phone off." You know, this this is going to be so bad. I'm so embarrassed. Look at my cheeks. They all rosy. But nah, I was just like, eh, shut the fuck up. Leave me alone. Oh my God, I was just so tired. And that's why I didn't feel like uh, taking any drowsy medicine before doing this. Because I will just be like, eh, uh, I'm playing the Pokemon, man. And, uh man, I wish I had me a sandwich. And, oh, shit. Man, it's motherfucking dragon knight man shit looks stupider than a motherfucker like that's how it would be the whole commentary and it probably wouldn't be it would probably be funny cause I sound fucking stupid but damn that hurt uh it, 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 it wouldn't be I wouldn't want to do it like that but that, that's how it is when I take the drowsy medicine man I just be extremely fucking tired and, uh, might as well heal but when do I got like a full healy thingy uh, I don't know, but, you know, in trade-off and not sound like I'm all sleepy and, you know, all crappy and shit, I gotta feel the pain of damn being sick, so, I don't know, this is just what I gotta deal with. Fully restores the PP1 Pokemon, I might as well just heal it. It's gonna have to recharge it, well, actually it was gonna have to recharge, I could've hit it with an attack, I, I didn't even think about that, but I want Bobbish to get the experience, even though it's like my strongest Pokemon, that little chump, 
Uh, let me see. Dragon, I must recharge. Oh man, I wish I had thunder. This stupid ass rainstorms out, and I can't even use thunder. Uh, thunder shot. Oh fuck! I well, I should have known that was gonna happen. Well, at least I'll, I'll survive with a good chunk of life. Come on, come on, come on, give him some. Yeah, there we go. Good chunk of life. And he has to recharge it. Well, actually, he'll be dead, so it don't matter. But yeah, so I'm I'm still feeling kind of shitty. Uh, I really didn't feel like recording too much stuff today, but uh, I wanted to record some Pokemon, some Brutal Mario, and maybe something else. Another Dragonite. Holy shit! Uh, who I want to send out to go against Dragonite? Child go to Slithers. Uh, Slithers won't be able to do shit. Ragemon. Uh, hmm. I'll pull out the Ragemon. Uh, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't feel like recording too much. I'll record some stuff and then I'll see if I can upload it because I got some Dark Messiah sitting on my computer. Uh, I have this, it's some Brutal Mario, and it's some other sort of stuff. So, so it's gonna be a lot of stuff coming out today. Uh, I also want to record uh, the audio for the next episode of uh, the Rank Warrior since I have that up there. Hydro Pump! I have that already done. It's been sitting on my computer for a while. Uh, I just gotta edit it all together and uh, set up the post commentary. What the fuck? Not very. F what? I didn't. What? Hmm. Well, that's lame. I didn't think that a damn water attack would not be. Hmm. I don't know. I didn't think dragons was not weak to fucking water, and now this is gonna hurt. Oh! Wait a minute. Dragons weak to ice. Boom. I know now. Uh, so I can pull out old damn little chomp and punch him. But anyway, we'll see if Rage Mod can get the job done. Uh, hopefully he can, and that's not really doing shit. Hmm. Or whatever, we'll just keep hitting him with damn Dragon Rage. Never mind, he's probably gonna die from this. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, didn't take the medicine. Feeling kind of crappy. More stuff coming. Bada boom. You know, that's that's everything that's going on right now. I'm probably gonna hit him with Surf after this. Maybe Surf might do more damage. Well, no, it's actually not because it's it's not affected the water type attacks. Hmm. I swear I've been out the Pokemon game for too long, man. Like, oh, really? Full paralyzed. Well, whatever. You going out with a Blaze of Glory, sucker? You gonna waste some of these goddamn hyper hyper beams or whatever on these Pokemon. But anyway, all right, little chump, come out and handle your business. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what am I talking about? I don't know. Little chump, come out, punch him. You have no more PP. Uh, fuck. Well, I got a elixir. Yeah, a max elixir. There we go. Little chump. Boom. Now I can hit him with ice punch. Oh, little, little, nah, I doubt little chump, cause that was the whole thing with Dragonite. Uh, me and my friend was having this conversation. Well, actually, never mind. Little chump is faster, but we was having this conversation. He was like, he was talking about Charizard, right? Uh, back in the olden days, back when I used to play Pokemon like that when I was a kid, uh, Charizard used to be my favorite Pokemon because, I don't know, I thought it was badass, Ash had one, his Charizard was an asshole, but, you know, he had a, he had a Charizard he seemed cool, where he just sized me tossing everybody on their brain, so it, it was pretty cool to me. Then, uh, you know, once he went against Lance, or he seen, I think he went against Lance, I think he lost to Lance, but he went against Lance, he seen the Dragonite, and his Dragonite was cool as shit because it flew with, like, fucking supersonic speeds and shit. Which I thought was, you know, pretty gangster, but the thing is, Dragonite, it just looks so fucking stupid. Like, it looked like Barney the Dinosaur. Like, that if he was a Pokemon, that's what he would be. A Dragonite. Because Dragonite just looked fucking retarded. I don't, I don't know. It don't look threatened or nothing. Like, Charizard looked kind of badass. And my friends making fun of him. He was like, yeah, he looked badass. He got, like, stubby little arms and he's all fat and shit. I was like, yeah, but he looked, you know, intimidating. Like, he'll burn your fucking face off. But, you know, D Dragon Knight or whatever, he just looked like he want a hug. Like, he just looked stupid. Like, he... He's got Down Syndrome or something, I don't know. Maybe it's just me, but he, he just looked kind of derpy as hell to me. Please don't let this kill fucking Frogator. But yeah, I always liked, uh... I always liked Charizard, and I always made fun of... Ah, oh shit. I always made fun of fucking Magmar, because he had a butt head. But anyway, enough old-time Pokemon reminiscing. Uh, but that that's, that's always my favorite. Like, out of the starters, I guess I have to say Charizard, then, uh, Frogator... And, uh, hmm. I don't know. After Johto, I really stopped giving a fuck about damn Pokemon. Like, this was the last shit. Now, it was around time. I don't know. I think probably like 10, 11, 12. Whatever the hell this game came out. I was like 10, 11. Around that age range. Uh, not age range, but age range. Please. Come on. How's your fucking. Oh, critical hit. Never mind. I was gonna say, how the hell is your damn Hyper Beam stronger than fucking Dragonite's? Humph. Uh, hmm. Alright, Slithers. Does Slithers have Surf? Please have Surf. He got oh he got, he got Slam. Never mind. Uh, I thought it was Surf. Anything he missed. Great. There you go, Surf. Yeah, but after Johto, I pretty much stopped caring. Please do not get another fucking critical. So I don't really know about the other shit. It's like Chikorita. I guess I don't, the next one's gonna be fucking uh, Chikorita. 
and it a uh, blaziken there we go blaziken it's you know evolution blaziken was like the coolest because it looked like you know a human and like a fucking karate chicken like, that's all he was karate chicken so I was like that was pretty cool i don't know about the the new ones and the flaming pig and shit like i, I haven't played pokemon black or anything like that so i don't really know nothing about the new pokemon and they all look like fucking abominations anyway so uh all right, let me see. I ain't gonna survive this next attack, am I? Probably not. Nope. But uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Out of all the starters, that probably has to be my favorite. And uh, my favorite out of like the starters, most like the strong Pokemon, like uh, uh, what's that damn? Uh, I forgot what it's called. Like Tyranitar, whatever it was. It's in Johto, and it's like it turns. It's like the little, like little green thing with like little horn on his head that you can find in the cave in Mount Silver, like right before we get here. All right, uh. I could just hit him with a normal attack. I, I forgot he used Hyper Beam. But yeah, that thing, he's just pretty cool. It seems pretty powerful. I like it. But, uh, I don't know. Just out of the start, it's also my favorite. Uh, let me see. Air that the fainted. Birdie. Okay. So we got one Pokemon, and Champion Lance is about to get his ass up, and it's fucking, uh, you know, Charizard, the Pokemon I was just talking about, and I have no Pokemon alive. Alright, Kix, you come out here and you take a couple of, you know, hits, and then we're gonna bring back Lil Chomp and finish it off right. Finish off strong. My start, my starter should be the uh, the Pokemon I finished the champion with. And see what I mean? Like Charizard, he look he, well. He look kind of stupid, but he look a little bit more threatening than damn. Uh, you know, Dragonite. Dragonite just looks stupid. All right, we got a little chump. He's revitalized. He's flamethrower. That shouldn't do too much. Hopefully, and Pokemon are under level, but whatever. It, it should be good. Uh, what the hell? Not very effective, but it did a bitch ton of damage. Come on now. All right, let me just heal. Him. Well, actually, no, I don't need to heal him up. Let's just do some damage, and then I'll, I'll just bring him in. And if anything bad happens, fuck it, I, I just deal. I still got a bad bitch and Slithers. No, I think Slithers dead. The other Pokemon is still alive. Not very effective. And kicks you back to, back to. Oh, you serious? It does affect you. Oh, hmm. Well, that wasn't good. All right. Well, last thing, we'll heal up damn for alligator. So that didn't work out. I forgot he flying. I didn't know if they put that in there. I thought that was in like the next game. Uh, you know, Sapphire and shit where it's like, flying Pokemon are affected by ground shit. You know, because it makes sense and stuff, so we had to do it. I'm like, god damn it. Well, anyway. Kix is dead. He's going down for the count. I just now thought about it. I'd have had Kix for a long ass time. Like, since the beginning of the game, I think I called him. He might have been like my first Pokemon that I called. Huh. Good old times. That good old boy, he, he helped me through. A lot of tough times, so uh, I really respect that guy. Cause Mag Two come in handy sometimes until his dumb ass get like a low ass number, like Mag Two Two or something like that. Even though I think you can get a Mag Two Two, I think it's like four. Four is the lowest, maybe. I don't know. Well, that'd be a one. Nope, not a one hit a quitter. But this should be the end. He used Hyper Beam because everybody used Hyper Beam, and he shot out his belly button for whatever reason. But whatever, it's cool, dog. And Frogate is gonna take this one for the team, <laughs> and we have beaten Champion and Lance. So. Oh no, we have defeated our rival Dick Butt, all of the Elite Four, and now the Champion Lance. So all in all, this is good. Showing our Pokemon dominance, Champion Lance was defeated. Batman just came out of here. It's over. But it's an odd feeling. I'm not angry that I lost. In fact, I feel happy. The ass whooping was just, just so delightful. Uh, happy that I have witnessed the rise of a great new champion. He just now got $5,000 reduced for winning and sent some to his mom. Woo! You have become truly powerful, DJ Now. Your Pokemon have responded to you or are strong and upstanding nature. As a trainer, you will continue to grow strong with your Pokemon. Thank you, buddy. Or oh, what? Mary. Oh, no, it's over. Professor Oak, if your ass wasn't so slow. Professor Oak. Ah, DJ Now. It's been a long time. You certainly look more mature, even though you're still a 10-year-old little kid. Your conquest of the League is just fantastic. Your dedication, trust, and love for your Pokemon made this happen. Your Pokemon were outstanding too, because they believed in you as a trainer. They persevered. Congratulations, DJ Now. You amazing. I love you. Uh, let's interview the brand new champion. Oh wait, let's interview the brand new champion. Alright, uh, let's let's get the fuck up out of here. It's too noisy. DJ Now, come with me and fuck these busters. They all trying to jock your style. Uh, oh wait, we haven't done the interview yet. Now she's pace around. Alright, now we're in the black room where we log you into the champion. It has been a long time since I last came here, even though it's like right behind me. Uh, this is where we honor the lead champions for all eternity. This, oh, their courageous Pokemon are also in inducted. I can't say stuff right, like I can't pronounce shit because my nose is all stuffed up. Here today we witnessed the rise of a new champion. 
A trainer who feels compassion and trust in his Pokemans. A trainer who succeeded through perseverance and determination. The new league champion. All the greatest of the makings and the uh, shit will allow you to register your partners as the champions. And now you put them in there to, I don't know, register them for all eternity. So a thousand years in the future, people will be like, hey, this dude, he did something. And boom, there you go. We got Fralligator looking all gangster in his pose like he a DJ or something like, wicked, wicked, wicked. DJ Lil Chump on the ones and twos. Then you got Rage Mon fucking got his mouth wide open. Then you got Burtis Ford. He came in kind of late, but he a star player. And no pun intended, his name is Starmer. Uh, we got Slithers. Uh, I don't know. On the M mic, shit. We got the Graveler. Laying hands on him. I don't know what the hell I'm doing right now. I don't know what to say. Just watching these, them slide in. And then we got Bob Bitch, the baddest pimp on the face of the planet. He ain't got no hands, but his pimp hands be strong. Oh, he ain't got no fingers at his pimp hands be strong. <laughs> he got hands or arms at least. He got little nubby hands. 168 Pokemon seed. 17 ohm because I don't catch Pokemon. I'm playing this shit for 56 hours. Yo. What the fuck? <laughs> Professor Oak Rating. Yo ass suck. Good. I see you understand how to use Pokeballs a little bit. <laughs> Yay, that's so great. Alright, so that's pretty much it. We have beaten the Johto side of things. But don't fret, because this playthrough isn't over yet. We still have Kanto to dominate, which will be happening next. And good God, my nose burn. Like, my nose has been burning, my head stuffed up, I have a headache, and my chest hurts so bad. Oh, man, but, you know, all that aside, I've been feeling pretty good. And this stupid-ass Blossom is, like, pissing me off. Because I know you got pollen in you, bitch. You, it's you, your fault that I feel sick. Anyway, so we're going to watch the little fucking Pokemon dancing around while I tell my little... Sad story about feeling like crap. Like, I feel like crap right now, but it isn't bad because I've been feeling good recently. And I don't mean, like, physically or nothing because, like I said, I'm sick, but, like, mentally good. I don't know. I got out the house a little bit, man. It's, it was feeling good outside. It's not too hot. It's nice and windy and stuff. And I don't know. i just been relaxing. Feeling a little bit better. So I wanted to do some commentary even though I feel crappy. So I don't know. I'm having some fun, man. Hopefully that kind of trends, you know, uh, how can I say this? It's kind of conveyed in my commentary like a little bit like I've been feeling good so uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this because I've been enjoying doing it I plan on doing it for a while I mean it's only one year and that's for suckers uh, there's a lot of stuff that I left unfinished and uh, it's one thing that bugs me about stuff is leaving leaving stuff unfinished like I hate that so it, you know it's a lot of stuff like I gotta finish Portal I gotta finish Silent Hill I gotta finish Pokemon I gotta finish Brutal Mario like there's a lot of stuff going on on my channel and uh, I, I try to keep it you know variety even though I don't do these as frequently as most people would, so you know I won't be getting done with stuff as fast. But you know, hey, that means there's always gonna be stuff to play and commentate on, and I won't never have to be sitting there like, oh my god, I need more games to buy and more shit to do. Nah, no, like I, I got that, you know, on lock right now. Like I got a bunch of games to play and a lot of stuff I got set up for the future, so I should be golden on that. But it's Diane, and if you little fucking thingy swirling around on the table. Okay, dokey. So that's pretty much it for the con uh not console, the Joseph region. We'll be starting with the console region uh in our next playthrough. Well, not next playthrough, but next sit down session. Uh like I said before, hopefully you guys are enjoying this because I oh, I I enjoy this so much. So I'm probably gonna drink some water <laughs> and uh try to keep hydrated and uh, see if I can kick this damn sign of shit. And uh uh plan on recording some more stuff today. So uh this is DJ now and I'll see you guys later. Peace.